Hey, welcome back subscribers. Today I'm gonna to show you how to charge a KTM Freeride EXC with a generator. So if you wanna charge your KTM Freeride EXC with a generator, first you're gonna to have to have a generator that's powerful enough. Uh, you're probably gonna need a minimum of a 3,500 watt generator. Um, generators don't operate at 100% efficiency. I'm gonna show you the math in the video here on how to calculate um, how many watts you need to charge this bike. So you're gonna need at least a 3,500 watt to charge it on fast, and you're probably gonna need at least a 3,000 watt to be able to charge it on normal. So the fast charger requires a 13 amps um, constant reliable source, and if you times 240 volts times 13 amps, um, that's 3,200 watts basically. Um, and if you do the regular normal charging, that's 10 amps, and 240 times 10 is 2,400. So it's, a, it's better on generators to go up than it is down, because if you don't have a reliable source of power, this thing's gonna kick on and off. And I was using a 5,000 watt in this video, and you can even hear when we kick it on to high, the, uh, the power would go down a little bit. So I'm gonna show you the uh, cords right in here and there is going to be a link to the cord in the description where you can just order one or i'll show you the connections if you have if you have any electrical capabilities you can make your own cord it's actually a little bit more expensive if you make your own from uh, lowe's or home depot or whatever but i'm going to show you the um, cord connections so you can easily do that so 5000 watt generator 240 ac trip got a homemade cord from uh, Home Depot plugged into the factory KTM cord and then the charger down here I'm gonna put it back to normal I'm gonna fire up the generator and I am going to plug this baby in looking through the viewfinder all right okay we got her plugged in so we're ready to rip on this, and then we'll give her a pull. A better pull. So after I finished my second moto, uh, keep in mind it's blazing hot outside. It's summer in Hawaii, so it's really, really hot. Um, after running the bike basically through the ringer as hard as I could, the battery was hot, and I had also done like a couple other motos, two other motos kind of, and the battery was too hot to allow the charger to charge it. So the charger would not turn on until I cooled down the bike in the shade. Um, so this next time I go to the track, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pull the battery out between the motos so that it cools faster so it's not sitting over the, the top of the hot motor. Uh, so just something to think about if you go to the track for the first time and you can't get your bike charged in time for your next long moto if you're doing long motos. Uh, so yeah, you have to cool down the bike a little bit. Uh, it's not a problem if you're swapping batteries because um, the, the motor's not too hot, but the battery itself is too hot to charge because it heats up a little bit from the charge and it heats up from riding. So it has a, apparently a thermostat in there that lets you know. All right, so we're charging the free ride with a noisy old 5,000 watt generator from Honda. I made this cord last night with my friend with parts from uh, Lowe's, or actually it was Home Depot. Lowe's was out of stock. We got it 
got the uh, KTM charger down here. You can see uh, the blinking light means that it's charging and we're two bars in. So here's the on off switch. Just turn the generator on and then hit the on button and she came right on. So that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope that was informative. Um, if you want to uh, like the video, that helps me out. Helps uh, spread the word because there's not very much of this information out there. And uh, consider liking and subscribing. And if you do, make sure you hit the notification bell. I'm not uh, uploading that many videos anymore. Uh, I just don't have enough time, but uh, I'm trying to get them out. So I want you guys to be notified if you have one of these electric bikes or if you're curious about these electric bikes. Um, I've got um, some suspension videos and stuff like that coming up. So you're going to want to probably see those. So go ahead and hit the notification bell right now and uh, check out the other videos that pop up in here at the end.